Hey everyone! Welcome to the very first episode of my Let's Play series. In this series, we're gonna build our own railway and city. I still haven't thought of a name for this series yet, so if you have any ideas, please feel free to put that in the comments below. So let's start by looking around at the world. This world was generated with Minecraft 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs update, and we can already see a nice birch forest close to spawn, some dark oak. Look at the sky! You see how it turns green? I kind of like that. And there's a beautiful lush cave right there. I don't really know too much about what's new in 1.18. I did install a mod called Terralith. You guys should totally check it out. It's a mod to make the, the terrain even better. So here there's a nice little area at the birch forest. It's like a nice little clearing on the top of the hill. I think we should start there. And I think this might be a good place to put our first station. So let's start by clearing out all the trees with world edit and kind of make this terrain a little flatter so that we have more space to work with. Okay, that didn't really clear out enough trees. Let's try this again. Go a little bit lower and try this again. There we go, that looks good. Now let me grab myself a wooden axe which gives us more control with world edit or makes it easier to select positions. And I'm gonna replace some of this dirt to grass so it looks a bit better. It'll also clean up some of the stone patches as well and the ores sticking out and some of the ravine holes. I don't really want too much of that. All right, so let's start by putting down the first platform. I think I'm going to start off with four car trains, which is 100 and blocks, 101 blocks long for a normal train or one of the standard size trains. So I'm going to use world edit to measure out how many blocks long this is. And meanwhile, let's clear out some of these other holes as well. I kind of don't want to clear up this hole right here because it looks nice. So I'm just going to work over to the side here. So let's clean up this area a little more and place down the first platform. Okay, that's done. That's 101 blocks long and the very first platform is in place. For the big station at spawn, I'm thinking of making sort of like a grand central station where there are many tracks and a curved roof where people can interchange easily. So to start off, I'm going to put two platforms down with a space in between for a walkway and then two more sets of platform next to that and the other set on the other side. Perfect. Now let's put in the station on the dashboard and see how that looks. Ooh, I do like this blue color, although it's a bit gray, so I'm going to change it to a bit of a lighter color. I'm going to call it Chong Sang Kui in Chinese, which is spawn. There we go. That looks pretty good. So I think for now I'm going to build the platforms using polish andesite. I do like the texture of that block and I'm going to place the indented platforms on each side. Now let's see how we can build the, the curved roof at the top. So I'm going to grab some quartz. Whoa, look at this lighting glitch. I'm not sure how that happened. I literally just placed down a quartz block. That is, that looks pretty funny though. Let's see if we can fix it using glowstone. Try to update the area. Okay, that kind of works, I guess. But that was pretty crazy how that happened. And it went all the way over here too. Okay, now that that's cleared up, let's continue building the top. So I'm thinking we go up about this much, and then I'm going to go across to the middle. So what I'm going to do is build half of the curve first and then use world edit to copy it to the other side. I think that would be the most effective way to do it. So I don't know how many of you have seen pictures of Grand Station designs, but they usually have a big dome with like glass windows on top. I think that would be a good idea for the station since it's going to be a big one. Although 
I always feel like after I build something, I see someone else build it nicer, and I get a bit jealous. And so I try to copy their design. And also, when I build, I don't think I add enough detail. With in like the poles and stuff, people use upside down stairs and like fence posts and things like that. But I'm not really that good at that. So I'm still practicing, and maybe we'll come back to refurbish the station in the future. But that's okay. For now, I'm gonna try to shape the roof first, shape the curve part. And I'm going to try to use slabs because it gives more detail. So five blocks across, then four blocks, then three blocks. No, maybe a bit longer is better. This takes a lot of trial and error, and it's going to not, it's not going to make a perfect semicircle, but here I'm just going for a curved roof. And I don't think a lot of stations in the world have a perfect semicircle either. So it looks like it ended up too short and it doesn't reach the pole on the other side. So I'm going to move that over a few blocks and see how that turns out. It's a bit better, I think. Okay, so I don't think slabs might be the best option, at least for, at least for now. So I'm going to try using full blocks to do that. So I grabbed myself some quartz blocks and make that shape again and now I'm going to try to use light gray stained glass to put the window section at the top. I will follow the curve first, put the gray stained glass along the quartz and then I'm going to stack the gray stained glass to make it longer. And then I'm going to repeat with the quartz. That looks pretty good I think. For the end here, I think I'm going to need a little overhang just made out of quartz to finish off the glass so that there's no glass sticking out the other side. Okay, I'm liking the look of this. Now let's make pillars that go down to the ground. Spruce planks might look good. Let's give it a try, see how that looks. I'm going to stack it to the other side. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep going with this. Extend the spruce planks down to the ground, and then I'm going to repeat that all the way along the wall as well. Before I do that, I do want to copy the platforms to the second level to see how it looks. So I mentioned earlier that I was thinking of a double-decker station where I had platforms on two separate levels. So let's use world edit to copy the platform first. I think that's a bit low and it looks kind of dark at the bottom. So I'm going to undo that and paste it in a little higher. We want enough space for people to walk around and not feel constricted by the platforms above them. Let's replace this dirt with something else because it'll be weird to kind of have grass at the, at the second level of platforms. I think we'll use polish andesite for now. We can always change the block later. That doesn't look too bad. All right. There's a one block gap between the end of the platforms on the second level to the wall itself. So I think we'll need to fill that in using some blocks. Slabs. Hmm, that might not work. So what about upside down stairs? Let's try doing it on both levels maybe. If we put glowstone there, that could be a light source. Let's stack it and see. That looks a little weird, I think. It might just be best to go for upside down stairs. Maybe this E shape as well with slabs underneath. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's keep that. I'm going to stack the rest of the wooden planks as well so that they go all the way across to the ground. All right, it's starting to come together. I think a little ledge on the side here might look good so that the second platform doesn't look like it's just hanging off the side or hanging in the middle. The quartz will be kind of extruded one block outwards. And let's try putting glowstone in between the wooden pillars in an alternating fashion. Yeah. 
I like the look of that. Next, I think I'm going to replace all the grass at the bottom with gravel because that's a little more realistic for railway tracks. Usually in real life, the railway tracks have some sort of material that the tracks rest on so that when the train goes over it, the vibrations don't crack the ground. Basically like a shock absorbing material. So little rocks can do that and so that's what I'm trying to build here. Gravel is the best option we have I think in Minecraft. We can clear up this area a little bit first as well. Oh, I meant to use grass blocks, <laughs> not just grass. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna copy this to the other side because I think we're about to wrap up here. So let me flip that and paste it and it's starting to come together. Oh, we have a little problem here. The gravel's falling through the holes. There's actually holes underneath the layer of the single layer of dirt we made earlier. So I'm gonna replace that with dirt and try to put the gravel on top again. Actually, a better solution might be to just cover the whole part with stone, a layer of stone underneath, so that whatever gravel we put on top won't fall down. Okay, I think the next thing to do is to put some facilities in the station. For example, escalators, lifts, and stuff like that, so that people can get around. I think the bottom platform is too dark because it's covered by the top platforms. So I'm going to clear out a hole so that natural lighting can come in. And then I can decide whether to put connecting passages in the middle. The bottom platforms look much better now. We could convert the railway tracks to use glass underneath, but I don't think that looks very realistic. So I'm going to keep it as andesite for now. Now's a good time to connect the platform rails on the top as well so that the nodes aren't just laying there. I'm going to build a bridge down the middle so that people can walk across and switch lines, switch trains. And put escalators down the middle going down to the bottom platforms. I think two escalators might be too little, too few and four escalators might just be perfect. So let's try that. I'm going to put some placeholder blocks down and then put the escalators on top of it. That, make, that would make it much easier to do. And then use world edit to copy the escalators to the other three spots. Sometimes it's a good idea to paste twice just in case the escalator doesn't place properly because it's a complicated model. Yeah, so if I do it one more time, that should fix it. I'm going to put some glass fences up here as well so that people won't fall off the sides. And then copy it to the other side, rotate it, and paste it. I'll paste it one more time just to be safe. Okay, I like how that looks. I think what I'm going to do next is put some lifts down the middle to make it a bit more accessible. The lifts have just been added to the mod just a couple days ago, so I'm pretty excited about that. If you want to get the latest, latest versions and try out the latest features, make sure to join the Discord server and download it from there. I release new versions on the Discord first and then post the stable versions on CurseForge. So I think I'm going to put the lifts at this area I might use 3 times 3 lifts if that's enough space. Oh, we do have more space, so we can use 4x4. Four four. Two 4x4 four four lifts next to each other. It looks kind of cool if I put iron blocks down at the bottom. It looks kind of futuristic. I will put the lift tracks all the way up and finish it for the other side as well and then spawn in the lift's entities. If there are no tracks, the entities will just disappear. The tracks also help guide the lift and tell it which floors to stop at. Finally, I'm going to spawn in the lift entities and we're using 4x4s. Four four. So I do plan on adding better glass fences or sort of like 
a glass enclosure to the lips to make it look better because I think using glass panes don't look very good like the default Minecraft glass panes. So instead I'm using the fences that come with the mod and I think I'm going to try using some white stained glass to cover the outside of the doors. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I think we can build the walkway up at the top as well. Um, six blocks should be plenty of space for people to walk across. And I might have to extend this passageway for the escalators as well to make it six blocks also. Yeah, a wider passageway does look better. Okay, so I'm going to finish the landing up at the top here for the lifts and do the same thing as we did at the bottom. Using these glass stained glass fence might, lock, might not look too bad after all. But I think the glass blocks at the top look a little out of, out of place. So instead I'm just going to use glass fences except for the middle where the lift buttons will be and take away the top blocks as well. Yeah, I think that looks better. And I'm going to put glass fences all the way along the middle as well. And then I'm going to try to link the buttons to the floors, the lift floor tracks. Okay, looks like both of them are linked and we can do the same thing on the bottom floor. Now if all goes well, alright, one of the lifts will come to the first floor. Well, they're both called the first floor so I probably need to rename that soon. And it works just as we expect it to. Nice. Let's call it the bottom one lower platform, LP. Probably that's the best way to name it. And the top one will be UP, upper floor. Do that up on the other side as well. And there we go. Just need to set up the lift buttons again, and that should be good to go. It's kind of nice how even the floor numbers are copied over, so LP and UP. Oh, but it looks like these buttons were still linked to the ones on the other side, which is an easy fix. We can just break the buttons and link them again. Alright, I think that's about it for the station decorations for now. I think it might be a good idea to start running some trains through, just to get an idea of how the station would look like. So before I do that, I'm going to open up the square map for the world. Square map is a mapping software for the server where you can go to an internet browser and kind of look at what the world looks like and where your stations are, where everything is, where the biomes are. So I'm going to see where I would want to connect my first line to. You can see the first station called Spawn, as we created. It's marked on there with the logo. And it takes a while to load in the actual building that we made, so it kind of looks choppy right now, but that doesn't matter. Since our platforms run north to south, I think it would be good to build the first line going in that direction as well. So let's take a look around to see what's interesting on the map. So at the bottom here, there's a pretty cool little ravine area, I think, or it just looks like a river with some black stone maybe, or terracotta. That looks pretty interesting, and we also have a forest with red trees down there. So yeah, I think let's build the first line down there. Okay, since I'm planning on having a cross-platform interchange, I'm going to make the first line run on the outer two platforms. That way when I add a second line in, they can use the inner platforms and so people can change trains just by walking across. So first I'm gonna extend the bridge out a bit and then try to make the tracks converge in the middle. I also want to follow the slope of the terrain a little bit because if I keep extending this track to the station, to the next station, it's going to be way too high because we started off on this little mountain here. So what I'm going to do is extend this out first and then try to get lower and converge in the middle. 
Okay, so this looks something like this. I think this slope is acceptable. It's not too steep or anything. It's a nice gentle slope. But I do want to try to extend the bridge itself a little more before I start going downwards because that way the trains won't look like it's dropping off the side right after it exits the station. So I'm gonna give a little clearance there before I make the bridge down. And then I'm gonna grab the bridge creator and use andesite slabs because I think that would make the smoothest curve. Let's start making the bridge because that might take a while. And then I'm going to try to converge down the middle, find the center point, and then try to bring the tracks closer together. While that's building with the bridge creator, let's continue building the tracks down south. So the next station I'm thinking is where the red trees are. I think that's a good spot to build right across the river. Wow, look at that terrain. Can't imagine this is normal Minecraft too. The Terralith mod doesn't add new blocks to its biome generation, which is what makes it so exciting because you can have a vanilla server, for example, with just the Terralith mod and people can join with vanilla clients. You don't need to install the mod to join the server because it doesn't add new blocks. Anyway, I'm going to count out 101 blocks here and build the, the platforms for the second station. Let me double check. Okay, that's 101 blocks. The platforms are in and the bridge is also done. I'm going to extend this bridge out a little more and add a siding so that we can at least try to get some trains running. Let me set everything up on the dashboard. And I think I'm going to choose an MLR train because I do miss those in real life. Let's just say after the Hong Kong MTR retired their MLR trains, they brought it over to the server because they didn't want to just scrap it right away. They wanted to use it here. And I negotiated a deal with them and bought a bunch of their trains. So now they're running here on this new line on the Let's Play server. So that's great. I'm going to build a little temporary turn back at spawn station so that the trains can turn around. So now we need to do a bit of setup for on the dashboard. I'm going to draw the station at the bottom. I'm thinking I'm going to call it red leaves for now. I'm going to call this route Chongsang Sin spawn line for now because it does go through spawn. And it's the very first line we have. Okay, the first one will be northbound and the second one will be southbound. I do like that green color, so I think I'm going to copy that over for the, for the northbound line as well. Okay, I'll put the routes in to the depot instructions. Refresh path. Oh, it looks like we can't find a path. Let's take a look. Do we select the wrong platforms? I'm going to fly over there just to double check. Oh, so we did have a missing connection. That's what it was. Okay. There we go. Now the path successfully generates and the trains are running. Oh, it's going right through the mountain. Let me make a tunnel real quick. It's really nice to have the tunnel creator and the bridge creator tools now. I can't imagine making all of this by hand, especially the curved parts and the slopes. That would be really hard to do. I'm pretty excited about the development of this server. For the upcoming episodes, I do want to invite more builders to come help me build because I know quite a few people who build really nice stations and I would love for them to help out. I'm still figuring out a few technical details about hosting this world as a server, or at least publicly, so that people can join as adventure mode to take a look around, to give ideas and such, but, but that might take a little while longer. So in the meantime, feel free to give more ideas in the comment section below. 
I'm just placing down automatic platform gates at this station and cleaning up a couple of things and then I'm gonna call it a day. I don't want to build too much here yet because I know we're gonna have lots of expansion in the future. I'm not even sure where to put signs yet to tell people where platforms are. So I think I'm gonna do that a little later. I'm also not gonna copy these escalators and lifts to the other set of platforms yet because I might add a few more things as decoration first. Maybe add some pillars or add some passenger information display systems and things like that. All right, so today we built our first station and ran trains through the station. And we also built a second placeholder station. Hopefully we can develop that more in the future. Thank you for watching the first episode of the Let's Play series. If you have any comments or questions or ideas at all, please let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to see where this Let's Play series will go, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!